Hey up guys, it's Kyle here and welcome to another League of Legends commentary. Today I'm playing as Akali in the mid. I don't really have any runes for her, especially like some people say you should uh, use AD runes with her because she's hybrid. And uh, I only figured out that she was like really hybrid this game because this is technically my first game as Akali. I had a bot game just before just to see how she worked because I'm not going to jump into a game where I don't understand the champion, I don't know their moves, and that could just ruin the game for the, the entire team. You know, if I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm playing a champion first time in a real game, then it could kind of mess up the balance, and I could suck, and then the game could be lost, purely because I don't know what I'm doing. So I played a bot game to get a feel for her, and uh, yeah, I, I quite like her. She's uh, she's one of those uh, risk-reward type people, which uh, they can be quite, obviously, risky. Which is uh, kind of good, kind of bad, it's just a bit here or there. But there's a part in this game that makes me love Akali because she's so high burst. Oh wait, wait, wait. Best gank EU right here. I've sorted it down just for this. Watch this. Me and Vlad facing off. Oh Pantheon, oh Pantheon, you are so good. Oh, what happened there? I just don't understand what happened there. That was the best gank EU. That's all I'm saying, enough said. Vlad said he was a uh, he got scared of the gank. They thought he probably thought it was a five-man gank or something in mid lane. Nothing would have happened. We're all like level four or something. We're all level three, four. Regardless, that was the best gank EU. I mean, seriously, you should try that technique out. Just walk into the middle of the lane with no uh, sort of pings or waiting. Don't wait, don't wait for him to come towards me or anything. Pantheon dying on top lane. That's not too bad though, because Pantheon late game is a beast, especially this Pantheon. I'd like to point out that the Lulu in this game. Say it was her first time Lulu. Well, we don't know if it's a her, but you know, it's a girl character, so we usually reference reference them as her. Even if it's a boy, like, people would say, like, you know, me being a girl in this game, so I would be called she. Anyway, um, I'm getting a gank right now, being ganked right hardcore, so good, flash, do the thing. Trolling right now, just gonna stand there and laugh a bit, no problems, uh, because it's just spam laugh when you're getting ganked and nothing really happens. I think that Vlad should have done that as well. Nothing to drink today, so uh, I might have a bit of a sore throat, might have a bit of cough, might have a bit of a swallowing excess, I don't know. Uh, did uh, Pantheon just pick up a kill on Nocturne there? That was quite good. And there was a little bit of, uh, like, I don't know, civil turmoil, we could say, through this team. Uh, our team were doing quite well. There were no arguments going on, everyone was quite happy with each other. It's quite rare. <laughs> the enemy team, on the other hand, they were the typicals. You see the uh, all chat going off. Oh, here I'm gonna get ganked again. Uh, but this time, some shit's gonna go down. So let's watch. Nocturne's just waiting in this bush for me to do something. He should have gone in then. He'd have killed me. But he waits. And I go in and I kill Vlad. And then, obviously, Nocturne kills me. If he'd have gone in beforehand, I would have died too. And uh, not, uh, what, Vlad, I almost called him Nocturne. Nocturne would have lived anyway. Uh, Vlad would have lived and uh, that would have been a good gank. Not to wait just a little bit too long, which is good on my part because obviously I get a kill. I'm not too sure what to build on Akali, but I'm building Gunblade and I'm going to get a Cage's Lucky pick because I want to get that extra gold per five because I'm farming terribly. Uh, my early game farm is Akali is horrible. I'm trying to gank bot lane there, but MF scares are off, so that's not too good. Either way, that's fine. Anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, hybrid stuff. I try and build hybrid. I was thinking about getting a Ravenous Hydra. Oh, wait, this is the part. This is the part right here. This is what makes me love Akali right now. See, they're all quite low. They're not all particularly full health. Try and go on Wukong, he knocks me up. I thought he might survive this, but nope. Do the little ulti, and then Vlad's gonna get away. But nope, dash to a minion. <laughs> Try and get to him. Uh, I think Nocturne ults right about now. Uh, yeah, he ults. I don't have no vision, can't dash. Go in, kill this guy. Kill the Nocturne. Refreshes the cooldown on my ult, and then I can just go in. One more shot. Boom. And then there we go. That's the kills. Uh, Pantheon gets a kill as well. Pretty good. I believe I get a double kill, and that just sets me up quite nicely. That's uh, that's the stuff we kind of need, and that's what makes me love Akali. Those kind of plays you can make are just, you know, getting around, being so mobile, sticking to people. It's just works so well with, uh, you know, the, all the damage you can do. The output of damage is great, and especially if you can stick to someone's head and just keep smacking on them. Like I said, I was going to get a Ravenous Hydra on her. I've been told it might be a good idea. Bot lane not doing so hot, but you'll see a little gank from us now. And uh, we do uh, a little bit of a silly play, but regardless, you can just watch that while I talk. Thinking about Ravenous Hydra because, you know, Akali does do some auto attacks, she does, uh, you know, basic attacks. She does get lifesteal off a lot of her abilities and stuff, and, you know, spell vamp as well. So lifesteal would be good, especially the active that can be used every 10 seconds. That's crazy. I can't really defend this turret, so I'm just going to leave it. 
And, uh, you know, she has an E, which also does uh, exactly the same thing as a Ravenous Hydra, you know, AoE effect. And I'm just thinking maybe it's a good idea. You know, let me know in the comments if you think that's good. I asked people on Google+. Plus, and, uh, you know, there's some mixed opinions. Anyway, um... Ooh, Lulu getting caught out here. I was about to say something else, but Lulu gets caught out. Anyway, here we go. I get ignited. Oh my god, I'm about to die. The last tick of ignite will murder me. Oh wait, that's fine. I'm fine. No problem. That's not even close. I was like, I like a million health right there. Anyway, I'm walking out on like not full health because I wanted to see how much spell vamp I actually had from this gun blade. And let's have a look, shall we? That's quite significant actually. Looking at all that uh, health I just got back, it's quite significant. That's just with a gun blade. I think Akali's spell vamp and life steal is absolutely insane, which is really good. I I really enjoy it. And um. Who do we have on our team? We've got uh, Miss Fortune, Rengar, Lulu, and Pantheon. And Lulu, what was I saying about her earlier? I think I completely went off track. Uh, I think in, I was saying that Lulu, I think she said it was her first time playing as, as support and first time Lulu. Which I don't believe because they were playing really, really, really well. Like the ulting on Pantheon here. I'm just going to go in and try and clean them up. That's quite nice of uh, Lulu right there to big up Pantheon, but Pantheon does eventually die to turret. Not a big deal gonna go in and I, th I should have got that kill right there but obviously misfortune does probably because she has loads of damage and uh, you know she has a red buff as well so if I didn't get to him then I would have oh my god here we go Wukong going in on Lulu but she has a shield he, he has barrier I believe but that's not gonna save him and uh, yeah like I said though there is a bit of turmoil going on going on in the enemy team they're talking about how misfortune on their team is bad which um I don't know she didn't make the smartest of plays sometimes, but you can't just blame everything on her considering... I mean, Wukong did make a silly play right there. You know, um, <laughs> Nocturne, get in a turret, yeah, good. But he's gonna die in the process because Lulu just sped me up and I can't able to get to him. I mean, you know, I think it's just a team effort, really. It's all to do with what the team does, and if one person makes the mistakes, it's only one person. I've got a gameplay coming out later on, and uh, I was playing as Jarvan, and I actually quite like Jarvan, uh, even though I'm not a particularly good Jarvan, I just find him quite useful. And uh, there was the same same thing, really. Uh, but oh, here we're getting it engaged, and uh, oh no, he's gone invisible, and we're still trying to focus the clone for some reason. And uh, here I, I go really, really low, so I'm out of this fight. I'm not going to risk my life, so I'm going to leave. But I'm going to go to this fight. I'm trying to actually change up, change it up just a little bit with the uh, with the recording of this. I'm trying to sort of show more everyone's perspective not just my own i'm going to show mine mainly because it is sort of you know my gameplay of my things going on but if it's not me who's doing the main oh you go flash away as rengo with a bomb on his head uh clever idea gives zillion double buff i actually just got red buff oh that's not a problem there it's only red buff <laughs> zillion doesn't auto attack it's fine here we go i'm going in again on nocturne and i kill him of course because it's i can just i just put an ignite and walk away and here we have zillion uh selling that knock that knock Come on, what's he gonna do in that situation? What's he gonna do? Zillion, walking out right in front of me. Hi, Zillion. Let me just kill you real quick. Like, real quick? <laughs> real quick, like you just did your friend. And as a joke, I just put that Zill and, like, you know, the same kind of face. And he took it so to heart. He took it so bad. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I meant it as, like, a joke, you know, just a quick, you know, piss take. Taking the mick of uh, what he just said, you know, because he was like, that knock. And then he makes the same mistake. So it's like, you know, that Zill. And he, he went really hardcore on me. He was trying to rip into me and shit. I was like, oh, I'm trying to swear, really. Because everyone's going to watch this video. I mean, I mean, people of all ages like to play League of Legends. So, you know, it's not really like an 18 plus game. So I, can, I can't really swear too often in these kind of commentaries. But, you know, that is sort of me. Anyway, regardless, I'm going to try and avoid that. Here we have the team fight that sort of sets the balance in their favor. As you can see, uh, we focus the wrong people. Well, I get focused straight away. So I don't focus anyone because I die straight up. Uh, that's what makes me decide to buy a Zonia's Hourglass, and uh, I'm not too sure if that's what I should build. Obviously, we've got the Zillion ult going in on, uh, I believe it was Nocturne, no Misfortune, actually. Here we go. I'm telling our Misfortune that Zillion is going to speed Misfortune up, so try and put a, make it rain in that bush. Guess what? Exact same thing happens. The second I say it, it happens. Ooh, who'd have thought that I'd play Zillion, you know, because Zillion mid, dude. I play Zillion mid, like, a lot, and uh, I should know when people get sped up. They get, they get sped up, they fast. And here Miss Fortune gets caught out, she's stuck in, bar in Baron Pit, what am I talking about, in Dragon Pit. I don't believe she has a flash, she can't escape, so you just gonna have to fight this out, try and get as much damage as possible. And obviously, uh, the team blames her once again, even though that wasn't really her fault, she had no way of getting out, she was trapped. 
with no flash. I mean, what are you going to do? Zillion can't do anything, doesn't have ult. And now he has ult, though. Puts it on Nocturne. That's what I was talking about beforehand. And he lives. But look who's in the back. Look in the corner. Oh, it's me. Hi. How you doing? Hi, Nocturne. Focus Nocturne down. He's high priority target. He's the one who can escape and do all the damage. Uh, I managed to pick up Zillion in the process just with the AoE. Yeah, that's not bad, though. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'll take that one any day. <laughs> anyway, there's two people here, and uh, they're just going to hold us off, even though there's three of us. Anyway, people start walking in on us, and I believe we start initiating a chase. They start coming after us. Oh no, what's going to happen? I'm just going to turn around and laugh at him because, you know, it's just trolly. And uh, Zillion put a bomb on our Rengar's head, so he's going to stay away from all of us. And here we go. I'm speeding this up just a little bit. Not too much because we're getting chased. I have no idea what's going to happen here. We're getting, like, dove on. We're going to get murdered. I don't know what's going to happen because the last team fight was quite scary. But nothing happens. So I'm going to speed this up and everyone's just going to walk away. Happy days. Because uh, I was so sure that they were going to, like, dive us and come for us and we're going to, like, you know, we're hiding that bush and be all sneaky. But nothing happened. So, oh, I don't know. My heart was in my mouth, though. We're all sat there, like, hearts beating. You can hear the hearts going, like, what's going to happen? Oh, wait. Stealth burp. It's coming. Oh, pardon me. Oh, there we go. Every commentary. Every single one. I just can't help it. I don't know why. The burps just decide, you know what? I want to be in this commentary. Go. And there it is. And, uh, you know, we've got some all chats going on right now. And as I was saying before, that was quite a scary situation where they are all following us. And uh, <laughs> I thought they were going to own us once again. But no, it's fine. We're going to farm up. Oh, probably going to go for the Borrigan right here. I don't know why I call it the Borrigan. I think I've heard that somewhere. Because we call the dra the dragon the Dorgan. The Dorgan, because it's spelled wrong. You know, I think I've, I think we heard it spelled wrong somewhere. Or, or saw it spelled wrong in the all chat once or something. Where it said Dorgan instead of Dragon. So I now call the Baron the Borrigan. Because it's like, you know, it's like Dragon, but with a B. Anyway, uh, Zillion goes in here trying to get us out of the Baron. Not going to work. Lulu goes in like a crazy person. But, you know, that's really good because she's... Actually quite tanky. And here I go in just deciding to pick up some kills, get the Zillion and dash to her and kill Miss Fortune. And obviously, once again, they blame her. I mean, really, what was she going to do in that situation? I heard her locked down. Anyway, Miss Fortune's tanking the turret here, which isn't too good, so she has to run away. Uh, we do go in and try and kill everyone. We would have had an ace if Lulu and Miss Fortune were there attacking after the tower had started switching aggro to us. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. So, uh, you know, that's no big deal, though. Miss Fortune didn't have, like, full health. She could have gone back in there, you know, double up, make it rain, that kind of thing. Anyway, regardless, that's by the by, because, you know, it's happened now. It's already gone past, so I can't really change anything. If my headset keeps creaking, I do apologise. I do have to keep adjusting it every now and then. And here we see Mr. Vladimir getting his arse handed to him. Um, I wasn't doing so well in the lane against him. Uh, Miss Fortune does die. She gets focused real quick. Here we see Rengar getting owned by Mr. Nocturne, but I want to go in on Nocturne. I don't like this Nocturne. I mean, he killed me early game, remember? He killed me very early on. Here I'm like doing so much damage, but Wukong does knock me up, which ultimately does lead to my death. If Lulu would have got there just in time, I believe she had her ultimate. She could have like knocked me up in the sky, or knocked him up and made me massive. And then obviously, you know, that would have won me the fight. But then again, Lulu just a little bit slow. Obviously not her fault though gotta wait for you know movement speed she can't be like incredibly quick can she? she has to wait for cooldowns to speed herself up and stuff regardless like i said it's in the past i can't really change that but it's only one death and i did get two kills in the process and uh, ultimately leading to an assist for my team because they did attack him here i'm going to slow this down because these two people get caught out it's the mf and rengar they flash over the wall synchronized flash right there these like are the synchronized flash team and here i just appear behind them like a magician <laughs> Anyway, um, they do a, another little synchronized flash later on. I'll point that one out too. Anyway, we're in mid lane, just walking around, trying to get a nice little fight going on. I'm just going to see how much damage I can do by smacking on minions. I can actually do quite a bit of damage. Here we go, Pantheon ulting in for nothing really. <laughs> I don't know why. This Pantheon does like like really love to ult. I don't know why though. It's uh, He did do some quite nice ults, but sometimes uh, it just really didn't make it anywhere. Here we can see the uh, turmoil actually going quite hard on the enemy team. Uh, Nocturne is uh, not really doing anything now because he's sort of mad. It's Misfortune for taking piss and stuff. Misfortune are actually quite a nice person. Uh, they were just getting on it too much and I think it sort of ruined the mood. Anyway, we're getting initiated on here and Pantheon ults in once again. Awesome ult. Actually, pretty good ult right here. And uh, I do believe that we all managed to die here. I do have Zonia's right there, but um, I do get hit by the... I think it's Vladimir ult I get hit by. And it, like, 
really hurts and I timed it wrong and it you know managed to almost kill me. So I do back out, Misfortune does get a triple kill on us and uh, I managed to get away, woohoo. But that's, that's bad, see, the, the fights are not always in our favour right now. So it's quite an even game, it's not really in anyone's favour, we're not always going to win. I'm trying to go in on Nocturne here, I'm trying to get Misfortune out of the way. And uh, I think I do manage to get Misfortune down, yep, because Lulu, she's a proper beast right now. Unfortunately, Zillion gets the ult off on Nocturne, which is good on the enemy team part, really good play for them. But um, watch Lulu, you might be able to see, it's really quick. She shields me every time a Zillion puts the bomb on my head, she shields me every single time. And it does negate a lot of the damage, which is really good. This Zillion is playing AP Zillion, I believe. Which, as we know, is incredibly strong. <laughs> anyway, Rengar going and trying to steal the dar uh, the, the Dargon, and uh, that doesn't really work out too well. So um, he goes invisible and just walks away. I try and go in and try and steal the Dargon, but nothing that comes out of it, so that's... Uh, quite bad. I go invisible in that bush, they think I'm going to walk up towards him, so I try and walk down to try and get away and try and lead them towards me because Rengar wasn't out at the current time. So I was like, I'm going to try and save Rengar by walking away and making him come to me. Uh, Pantheon getting a kill on top lane against uh, Vladimir. I mean, Vladimir, who gets really fed and farmed up, can be extremely, extremely scary because of the uh, the ult. Really good. Uh, this, this Vladimir did know how to use his ult, I will give him credit for that, but... Um, it just didn't work out too much, which is unfortunate for them, but obviously good for us. Here, synchronized flash team once again. They both flash exact same time, <laughs> really good. And I uh, just invis and walk away. Here we have a nice little team fight going on. I believe this is the ending team fight that ends the game. I try and come in and uh, smack up on Nocturne. He dives in on the other side though, so I can't follow him. Wu Kong and Nocturne do fall incredibly low. Nocturne does die, and uh, we can see there's an ult. There was a zillion ult on top of. Uh, misfortune and now she has a GA so that's two times we've had to kill her and there's the third one goes down and uh, <laughs> Vladimir what are you doing son just walked back in after he's been owned so many times Pantheon ults in but nope that's my kill son that's my kill I take that we go do this he tanks the turret has he got his passive really nice passive right there blocking all his turret shots and uh, we get the inhib and we got these minions and we get the turrets obviously and that's the game boys and girls thank you guys for watching Akali I really love her if you have any more recommendations please do let me know so thank you guys for watching. Please do leave a like if you like, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!